So you missed out on Hulk 181 and you're kicking yourself for missing that opportunity. Well, I'm going to show you seven books that I think have potential to reach for the stars and end up making you very happy with your decision to purchase these books. If you want to know what they are, stick around. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And today, I'm going to show seven books that I think could have the potential to maybe not as go as high as Hulk 181 is doing currently, but definitely you may see a potential rise in these. So they're books that some of them are still fairly affordable. Some of them are starting to get up there, but they still have potential, in my opinion. Now, keep in mind, there are risks involved. Nothing is guaranteed. So I would not recommend selling, you know, selling your car or spending your rent money on these books. But if you have extra income and you could find some deals, they may be books that you may want to pick up. Now, these are all Marvel books. Doesn't mean I hate DC. I just think at this point, because of the track record of the DC movies, they have a lot to show to us before they can get back on track. So, again, sometimes buying steals when nobody cares about it might be something to look into. So if you want to recommend something that is not shown here, please put it in the comments section. All right, so with that being said, let me show the first book, and I'll give a little bit of an explanation of why I think these can continue to go up. All right, the, the, I'm going to go from the least to the best. First one I'm going to show is definitely a book I would highly recommend that you get. This is Tomb of Dracula, issue number 10. This is the first appearance of Blade the Vampire Slayer. Now, there have been rumors at this point, and that's why I'm putting this lower in the list, because as of now, it's just rumors that they may be making either a Blade TV show or a Blade movie, and they have actually been discussing this with Wesley Snipes. He says that they basically have boiled it down to two ideas. So, of course, again, anything can change, but it looks like that might happen. And if they do that, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be very excited about seeing Blade come back. Because remember, this is one of the first true rated R comic book movies. Not Deadpool, not Logan, Blade. And I love those movies, love this character. I would love to see this comic book get its due that it deserves. And if it does, you could see a big increase in this book. So I paid $121 for this book. Mid-grade, you're going to spend about two to 300 Obviously, lower grades are going to cost probably about... 150 or less higher grades you're talking in the thousands so go with what you can afford but this is definitely not out of reach now obviously the books i'm showing you're not going to be ones like x-men number one or you know detective comics 27 i want them to be within a certain range that most people can afford especially in lower grade all right this is a book they have talked about a lot that i really think you should get this is Werewolf by Night, issue number 32. This is a little bit of a lower grade, but this book has already been expensive based on speculation for years. But as of now, Marvel has said that Moon Knight is in their future. I think he would be so much better as a TV show than a movie, because most people outside of the comic book community are going to have no idea who Moon Knight is. So a movie wouldn't give him enough time for people to get to know who he is. So I really think they should start out with the TV show and then maybe later on progress to a movie. But this book is already fetching about two to 400 for very low grades, and they haven't officially announced anything yet. So again, it, when you want to get these things before those happen, and again, you're taking the chance... I paid $152 for this book. You can see there's some writing on it. So you can get this book under $250 in lower grades. Obviously, it's going to be a lot higher from there. But definitely a book I think you might want to consider. Because, again, they've been talking about Moon Knight's future. So check out that book. All right. The next book is definitely one I think you should get. It's a little expensive, 
but still worth getting because I don't think you've seen the top of this yet. And this is obviously Amazing Spider-Man number 129. This is the first appearance of The Punisher. Now, The Punisher is about to get season two. If it continues to go well, I think it's just a matter of time before they put him in a Marvel movie. Now, I don't think he would have enough draw at this time to do his own solo movie. I think he would work better like with a team, maybe with a team up of Ghost Rider, for example, or even with Amazing Spider-Man. But I really think this character will get his due. Because remember, back in the 90s, Wolverine was not the only popular character. Sorry about that, I thought I heard something. Um, the Punisher was just as popular as Wolverine was. So definitely a book that you want to consider. All right, the next book that I want to talk about, I do not own. I'm trying to own it, but let me pause this for a second so I can show you what book I'm talking about. So my next choice you could see here is Amazing Spider-Man number 14. I used to own this book, but it did get stolen. I had an opportunity to win it, but the person never sent it to me. Uh, so that was unfortunate, but this is definitely a book. It They're not going to have Green Goblin... For the next movie or two but i think it's just a matter of time i mean that's like having a batman movies without using the joker so they won't i don't think they'll use him in the next spider-man they might mention him as an end credit scene maybe just as harry osborne but it's just a matter of time before green goblin comes in and this pro this book is already expensive i mean you're talking three or four hundred for a 1.0 but Sometimes you got to spend money to make money, and I think this still has potential because once Green Goblin is in one of the movies, he is definitely not going to be a one-and-done character, in my opinion. I think they will actually do him right, provided Sony and um, Disney keep doing the deals, which I think Sony would be crazy to give up on it at this point. So that is my next choice. So let's get on to the last three comics. Okay, so this is definitely, these books are going to be a little bit more expensive, but they still have plenty of room to grow. Number three, must have in your collection, even in lower grade. This is Giant Size X-Men issue number one. Now, obviously, like I said, I'm not going to pick books like X-Men number one because you're talking in the thousands. This one's starting to get up there, but it is still obtainable in lower grades. You can buy it for under $400 for about a 3.0 and under, wait for a deal. Obviously, you're talking the thousands when you're talking about 8.0 and higher, but this is definitely a book to acquire. I mean, you have the second appearance of Wolverine, the second full appearance of Wolverine. You have the first appearance of Storm, Nightcrawler, Thunderbird, and Colossus. And I think if, and I'm going to say if, the X-Men are in a Marvel movie, because it hasn't been confirmed yet, so anything can happen, I really think, and I've said this before in other videos, I think they're going to use the new X-Men. And if they do, the first appearance of the majority of them are in this book. So it is a book, in my opinion, that has a lot of room to grow. And a lot of it is based on the Marvel movies to come, potentially. All right, two more. I've talked about this one, and I'll keep talking about this one. This is a must-have. I've been talking about this for years. Galac uh, the first appearance of Galactus in a cameo and the first full appearance of Silver Surfer. This is obviously Fantastic Four issue number 48. Honorable mention would be issue 49. That is the first full appearance of Galactus, but this is the one everybody's going to want to get. If you can't afford it, then 49 is the next best thing. But this book, I mean, it's already starting to get up there. I was telling people a year ago to buy this book when you could get a 5.0 for about $400, I paid about $325. I have uh, three copies. And um, right now, a 5.0 is going for about $800 and up. But that's still cheap considering what is going to happen, again, provided if the Fantastic Four ends up in a Marvel film. So until it's, you know, it's all set in stone, there are no guarantees. All right, so this is my number one book. It's an expensive book, but not out of the range of, you know, people that have some money. But this is my number one choice of book that I think has basically almost a guarantee to go ballistic. 
And that is, of course, Fantastic Four, issue number five. I've put this in other videos. I cannot stress the importance of this book. Again, this is already an expensive book. I bought this already graded at a 2.0. I paid $1,100 at the time I bought it. This book is already about $2,500 to $3,000 at this point. But that is nowhere near the peak. Because I promise you when they make... Well, if they make a Fantastic Four movie, they are not going to use Doom right away. So first, this book is going to go up just because it's Fantastic Four. But eventually they're going to talk about um, Doctor Doom. And I can pretty much safely say the way Marvel does things, you, the first time you even hear about Doctor Doom will be in probably an end credit scene. So like what they did with Thanos, they might kind of use, you know, tease him a little bit, but that will create a buzz because this is a, a great villain to add to the Marvel Universe. And once he's finally in, I mean, I think this book is going to go way beyond the first appearance of Thanos. And uh, this book has not seen its potential. And I really think this is a book that people may look back and say, you know what, I shouldn't have passed up on it. So, those are my seven books. There are plenty of others. You are more than welcome. Like, I'll give you a quick honorable mention for a newer book, but again, it's still expensive, is um, Captain Marvel 14, first appearance, the, the newer version, the first appearance of Kamala Khan. That's another book that people have been talking about. Uh, Gwen Stacy, Edge of Spider-Verse number two. That's another book I would recommend for a newer book. That book you can get for under $150 at this point in high grade. And then, of course, um, Ultimate Fallout 4, first appearance of Miles Morales. So those are three bonus little books for people that are maybe not able to afford these more expensive books. Those can be more obtainable. So check those out. I didn't have images for those because I wasn't thinking about those until now. But if you think of any others, please leave it in the comments section. If you appreciate videos like this, I would love to get that thumbs up and support. Sharing the videos are always helpful as well. And um, remember, guys and girls, don't just buy the first book you see. Don't base it on emotion. Make sure you research what prices are going on. Try and do deals with people by communicating with people. And if you have to wait a little while, don't just buy the first one you see. Because then you're going to regret it because you may overpay. So be smart about it. Do your research. And remember, like I said, none of these are guaranteed. But I have a pretty decent track record of books to look out for. So some of these you've seen in other videos. But I don't want to just assume that everybody that's watching this has seen my videos in the past. So if you want to see them, check out the playlists. And um, happy hunting. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. And don't forget, it's not you. It's not I. It's We Love Comics. I'll see you next video. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to connect with me on Facebook, just click right here. If you want to join our cashback program and get $10 off your first purchase of $25 or more, click here. If you want to check out some of my We Love Comics merchandise and support the channel, click here. And then if you aren't subscribed, we'd love you to join by clicking here.